I'm Doreen Christensen, and this is Doreen's Deals. AT&T has put me in the timeout chair for using too much data on my iPhone 6. The practice, known as throttling, is done by wireless companies like AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, and Sprint. It slows down your high-speed connection to almost nothing. I've got tips and tricks for data hogs. The companies throttle to manage congestion on their networks. I say that's a bunch of bologna sausage. Each month, AT&T sells me unlimited data and text for about $125. Then, if I use more than five gigabytes of data in a month, it puts my connection in the super slow-mo lane. Worse, what I call the complaint, AT&T tries to get me to agree to move to a mobile share value plan. Data throttling by wireless providers has drawn attention from the Federal Trade Commission. It's suing AT&T on behalf of consumers like you and me, contending this is an unfair business practice. So what's a data hog to do? Plenty. If you get throttled by your carrier, try my tips and tricks to try to get back in the fast lane. Call your carrier. Don't be in a big rush. Take your time. My first call to AT&T customer service lasted two hours. I had other marathon sessions too. It takes time to work your way up the chain. As the saying goes, the squeaky wheel gets the oil. Don't take no for an answer. And don't be rude. Get your carrier to verify that you're being throttled. That took an hour. Then politely ask that your high-speed connection be restored. Ask for a supervisor again and again, if necessary, until your carrier agrees. They won't. Download Ookla, the free app available at speedtest.net, checks broadband upload and download speeds. A 4G LTE connection should register between 5 and 12 megabits per second. I was down to 0.1 and could get nothing to load on my iPhone 6. I'm back over 5 now thanks to a new billing cycle and no help from AT&T. Restart. Put iPhone in airplane mode, found under settings, to disconnect from all networks. That could temporarily restore your connection when it pings a cell tower. If that doesn't help, restart your phone. Use social media. Complain on AT&T's Facebook and Twitter pages. One tweet and I got a request for account information from AT&T Cares, which is a real irony. Still no help. Go to the FTC. I filed a written complaint with the Federal Trade Commission's Bureau of Consumer Protection. If none of these tips work, and they won't, call your carrier and demand a credit. It took me a bunch of calls to AT&T to get my unlimited $30 credit refunded on my bill. In the end, I got what I paid for, nothing.